We are back in action, ladies and gentlemen. There, there she is. Very impressive matchup from Joe Namath earlier ago on Tom Seven. Tom is not having the best of years. Too bad for Tom, but Joe is going all of his way for that World of Heavyweight Championship, and I cannot wait the day that he wins it because he deserves it. I'm telling you, Joe Namath deserves all the best. <clears throat> Here comes the other number one who came from the Women's Championship, Melissa Cloutier. Depuis le, le mois de décembre, à l'événement de Blood, Sweat and Tears, à cause qu'elle a gagné le combat contre Evil Bad, elle a une chance pour gagner la ceinture de femme pour la troisième fois. Son partenaire, Alaska, Nebraska. Elle est un petit peu comme frustrée et confuse à cause que son partenaire, Melissa Pitti, a gagné par un count out. Il n'a même pas gagné comme, comme d'habitude. C'est pas le 1, 2, 3. And here comes the women's champion, ladies and gentlemen. The, the ring veteran. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Alicia, as I said, every single time she walks down that rampway, she has been with us for many, many years. 2001, her short little stint as a young kid, now a now a now a full adult. Alicia has won the women's championship on numerous occasions. Delivers the greatest action in women's wrestling better than TNA, better than the WWE. If a woman like her were on WWE, I'd watch. And returning to the ring, Ontario, Canada, sexy girl is Killer Kyle of the Ship Disturbers. We saw her on Tuesday Night Bomb helping out her fellow stablemates, Macy LeBlanc Smith and now Ms. Emily Payne. Dazzling Divas always deliver the best. And surprisingly, my color commentator, Captain Obvious, says to me in a text message, text message, excuse me, he is on his way, and I'm sure he's on his way. He'll, he never misses a Divas match. He has never missed one Diva match ever, for that matter. Well, we are on the air, we are alive, and we're not going anywhere. Because these four divas are going to tear each other apart. And three of these women tonight, folks, are going off to Devil's Feud Cake for the biggest prize in the women's division yet, which is the FPW Women's Championship. 
as I had stated, folks, in French, that is, but I'll translate it to you in English, ever since Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Melissa Cloutier has had won the match for her team, Alaska, Nebraska, to beat Evil Bad. But technically, and I do mean technically, uh, Alaska, Nebraska was supposed to have been issued the shot the title. Now, it is true, it's going to happen, but now Melissa, due to the actions that Melissa did, win the match by a countout, no less. Melissa and Alaska now are going to both compete against each other for Alicia's Women's Championship. That will be next Sunday at Devil's Fugit. I am really stoked for it. But also, ladies and gentlemen, the return of Killer Kyle. What is going on between the Ship Disturbers, Soul Calibur 4, and now the return also of Gina Carano. We haven't seen her in two months. She got beaten up so badly, she got herself injured. She came out out of nowhere. I didn't even see her come out from the crowd or anything. She just popped on the screen, literally, and started wrecking havoc. I'm like, oh my god, that's Gina Carano. She looks ten times better than she did before her, before her injury. So I have to ask myself, what's going on? The championship committee's all puzzled. We're stunned about the actions that's going on right now between those six divas. So hopefully on Tuesday Night Bomb, we get some kind of word about what's going to happen. I want to know what the hell's going on. As a member of the committee, I want to know exactly what is going on here. Meanwhile, in this free-for-all chaotic match, I can't even follow the action. I can't even translate it you into on French in French because every, everything is all happening all at once. I can't even. I can't even tell. So, for all you French folk out there, I'm sorry. Yeah, but the. Comme, j'ai pas capable de dire toute la toute, toute l'action en français là. Mais désolé, inquiète-toi pas, je vais te parler en français dans la, le soir de Devil's Fuel Cake, le 17 février, dimanche le 17 février, la semaine prochaine, je vais te dire toute l'action en français si je veux. And I do believe I hear, I think I just heard Captain Obvious. A moment ago, I think he's making his way here. I do see him in the distance. For this upcoming battle here, the women's four-corner match up here. Three of these deals, as I mentioned, they're going to fight for the women's championship. And then there's Killer Kyle. What's her role? She's back. That's her role. That's her, that's her deal. She's back, baby. Welcome to the broadcast table, Captain Obvious, just in time for some hot diva actiones. Yes. <sighs> What's the deal you have to found that? I don't know. Is there a new episode tonight? It's supposed to be. Uh, so we may, we, may have, we may have to, after this match, we may have to, um, to vacate for intermission to, for viewing purposes of Family Guy. This is, uh... Yes, I did. Oh my god, man, the sushi was fantastic. Where did you go? Uh, sushi Hall in Hall. <laughs> sushi Hall in Hall. Oh! And, and I mean, in the beginning, it was very quiet. There was like, barely anybody there. It's a small little place. Very nice place. But uh, then people started pa coming in like... 
Spoke by the dozens. <clears throat>